and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. I've got this animation here and I want to retime it a bit by using the tween tool. So what I do is I stop the playback and I go to something like frame 20 because this is the area that I want to retime. And then I activate the tween tool which allows me to fine tune the animation of selected objects starting at the current time. And as you can see all of the animation curves are visible which means that I've got all controllers selected. And now I want to retime the animation. And this can be done by using the retime section here. And I want to use the minus one and plus one buttons. But if you have a look at the power slider area here, you can see that it's just the next keyframe on each track compared to the playhead's position, which is going to be moved. But what if you want to move all keyframes after the playhead's position? First of all, I would advise you to tick all of these options here, because you don't just want to move position, rotation and scale keyframes, but also keyframes for parameters, user data and tags. And now, if you hold down the shift key while pressing the minus one or plus one buttons, you can see that all of the keyframes are moving. You can also use the plus n and minus n buttons, which will move the keyframes by five frames, because n is set to this value. So let's hold down shift and hit plus n again. And let's go to the first frame and play back the animation. And now you can see that we retimed our animation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.